Has your voice ever gotten a little bit shaky when you've been nervous in front of a group? Or you're talking about something about yourself, maybe selling your business, something that makes you a little bit nervous? I know I've certainly had that happen. And the body is one of the first things that gives away any kind of insecurities we have, any lack of confidence that's hiding somewhere in there. It comes out through our bodies. And one of those ways is our voice. I'm Cassie Nevitt. I'm the creator of Present With Confidence, and I help women speak confidently about what they do so they can make more of an impact, attract the attention that they want, and make more money. So with the voice, this is, a, like I said, it's one of the first things that can give us away if we're not quite confident in some part of our being, um, or do we just have a little bit of nerves about what we're saying and being up in front of the group. So a great way to prepare yourself for success anytime that you're going to speak, and this could be you know, going to a networking group where you get up and say your little spiel. This could be going to a sit down with a client if it's an important interaction and you want to make sure that it goes well. Any situation where you're going to be speaking and you want it to come across really well, I would say do some vocal warm-ups, singing warm-ups. So um, I was just at this great event and they had a beautiful singer and a beautiful violin player. And they were just the shining examples of mastery of their instruments. And one of the instruments, of course, was a violin. So you think of the resonance of that actual physical instrument. And she has mastered how to pull a beautiful sound out of that that keeps everyone engaged and actually moves the people listening to it. Same with the singer, her instrument is her physical body and she has mastered the resonance of her physical instrument so that she can move the, the people listening to her. And it's not just that they're singing the song or she's playing the song, they are using their instrument in a way that moves and inspires the people that are listening to that. So the same thing goes with speaking. Yes, you need to know the content, but can you use your instrument in a way that's going to keep your audience engaged, keep them listening, keep them feeling something? Because if they don't feel something, there's a lot of other things they could be spending their attention doing, right? So we want to use our instrument in a way that it really supports us in getting our message out. So do some vocal warm-ups next time before you go on to onto a stage, onto you know, a networking group, any of those sorts of things. And the vocal warm-ups, your goals are to have your voice and your body be ready with hitting low notes all the way up, just basic scales, low notes all the way up to high notes, and back down everything in between so you're warming up your range. That way you have access to all different sorts of emotional uh, levels and ranges as you're speaking. Warm up the clarity of your voice so that when we get a little bit nervous, the voice doesn't get caught in our throat. It can, you know, come naturally out to the crowd. Warm up your breathing so that you're breathing all the way from your lower belly and that breath can kind of easily come out and share your message. So those are a couple of quick things that you can do. Play with your voice, play with your breath and use that to support you in coming across really confidently the next time that you're talking about what you do. So for more tips like this, go to avibrantbody.com and opt in, just leave your name and email address, and you'll get a weekly tip on your personal presence and being able to present yourself confidently. Thanks so much for watching and make it a great day. We'll see you next time.